Hi guys! So, you probably noticed I have loads of keyboards with the Romer G switches. Now this time we're going to talk about Logitech G910 Orion Spark and why is it so special? What's that so special about it? Well, to be honest, I made a mistake last time when I unboxed and shown you the Logitech G910 Orion Spectrum and that wasn't the keyboard I tested before I was going to buy my first mechanical keyboard. I was actually testing the Orion Spark and today I have the chance to show you guys why is it so cool and well, why did I switch it to G410. Now, I told you for gaming I didn't want the numerical pad so let's take a closer look, see how the G910 looks from up close, see the box, see everything and some technical specifications, right? Stay tuned! Logitech never seems to amaze me, but this time we have the, as I said, the 910 Orion Spark and you can't go wrong with the box, I mean the package is as always just perfect. Uh, I told you they won loads of awards, first uh, for the packages, then for the design of the peripherals and, and I mean you can notice why the packages are perfect here on the back side you have like let's say x-ray of the keyboard some uh, key features some explanations here uh, the whole box looks really huge and well I don't know what to say anymore about the box but that's I think that's enough let's just open the box and see what we got inside of course we have the keyboard inside, I mean how stupid can I be, but this is, this is the thing that actually makes me very happy when I unbox. Just look at that G logo here and look at the box, how you open it. Uh, when I went to the store and to see the box, I can't remember if this was the same one, I mean the box, it was the same keyboard, but look at this. Now, here we have immediately the keyboard right here to see. This one is out of the plastic bag that usually comes with, but who cares. So let's take a closer look, let's, here we go. Okay, so this is, this looks almost the same as the G910 Orion Spectrum, but what's the catch? This one has the normal palm rest as the spectrum, but the Spark has something else. It has the extender for your palm rest, and I think this one doesn't or does go off. Yeah, you remove it, you can place it back in the same spot in the... And then you have this kind of skeleton look of the keyboard, which you probably won't use it like that. So let's place this one. And as I said, the aggressive looks a bit better, doesn't it? Uh, it, has, it has the same... Arc docks here for your tablet, your uh, I don't know smartphone, and apart from the G410, you can't take it out completely and place it anywhere you want. It has to stay here. Uh, it has the gaming button, so when you're in game, it shuts off the uh, Windows uh, button. The I don't know probably the right click that's on the keyboard. 
you also have the uh, key that uh, use uh, that is actually a function for your brightness so you can turn it on and off without uh, going into the Logitech gaming software you have some um, uh, multimedia buttons like play, uh, stop, pause, uh, forward, backward and um, of course for the volume you have the scroll wheel that you can easily I don't know go up and down and the uh, mute button that is right next to it so guys is that all? Hmm? let's check the keyboard up from close and uh, let me tell you it's not the same it has almost the same layout the same looks and everything but there is something significantly different from the G910 Orion Spectrum let's check it out as you can see the keycaps have a different uh, layout they're not regularly shaped uh, well at least on the, this keyboard the palm raster is a bit bulkier on your left hand and it looks more aggressive than the standard shape here you can see from up close that keycaps do have a certain shape except for the windows uh, keycap and on the left side you have the keycaps control shift and windows as well which is pretty strange in my opinion but they had something else in mind the w a s and d keycaps are uh, specially designed with uh, full uh, rgb uh, logo and as well as the arrow uh, keycaps they have the same design so well kind of make them more noticeable here we have uh, 5g uh, switches, uh, 5G uh, buttons that can be programmable. Up here you have three memory uh, buttons to program for your games and be, be above the F1 to F4 you have another four uh, G buttons. On the right side you have multimedia buttons with uh, volume up and down, uh, mute and the game mode button on and off with the arcs dock release. Uh, on the back side you have loads of uh, rubber pads that keep your uh, keyboard very steady while gaming which is a great plus since you can put uh, your keyboard tilted up and you still have those rubber pads keeping it really uh, to your table. As you can see a very nicely designed uh, keyboard from Logitech DG910 Orion Spark with the Romer G uh, switches. The design is perfect for those who wish to have something uh, more aggressive on their table with uh, the RGB lighting and the Romer G switches. Now I can't place this keyboard as I usually do when I tape and record the outro because the you can see the palm raster is not uh, straight, it has these kind of curves or something like that, so I'm going to put it here. Now I hope you understand why I love this keyboard. With all these uh, features and the Romer G switches, I mean they work perfectly in-game and uh, the clicks are really let's say not that loud on this one except when you take a look of the G410 they're much louder than this ones and that is really cool because then you don't have to I don't know I have my uh, other keyboard for uh, writing some stuff and I don't know I usually switch it and that's, that's all but this is it guys, so we had the Logitech G910 Orion Spark which is, as you can see and you saw it, really awesome. Uh, thanks for watching another video with me, I'm Dario from PC Crazy, don't forget to check the links below for the Logitech stuff, I'll put them where to buy it on Amazon for the Europe and for on the new egg for the uh, US. Uh, thanks, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like the video, see you next time, bye guys.